Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lina and today we'll trade on the pocket option. Before we start, I want to recommend you my private telegram channel where I give you signals. Uh, don't forget to subscribe me and uh, like and comment and let's start. So friends, let's start our trading session. I have a little more than one hundred dollars on my balance. As usual, we will make good amounts and trade will be open to the maximum deposit. If you're new to trading, then this video is exactly for you. Today I will add ADX with you. Uh, I'll leave all settings and add a Keltner channel. So I will trade with these settings. And other information about my strategies, you can find in my Telegram channel. So you'll find the link in the description. So let's start. And okay, we can start. If ADX line below 20, then most likely we have a flat. It's above 20, then it's a medium strong trend. And uh, it's above 40, then it's a strong uptrend or up downtrend. If it's over 50, mm, then the trend starts to fade. Let's do red and do the ADX line yellow and let's start trading and choose here yeah, kinds from here we open trade up we see the Keltner renewal of the local minimum in this area so we also see good strong correction this area after which the moment can go up also ADX the plus line crossed and in theory reversal of the trend is coming that's why the deal was open to buy in general the ADX indicator shows the strength on the of the trend that is, it's not necessary to rely heavily on it. It can be used to understand the volatility uh, percentage of the signal. Well, we are waiting for, yeah, first trade in plus, and let's continue our trade and choose the most popular Caspa. Mm, here we see a strong upward movement, therefore let's uh, open most, let's open a deal on the trend. Also, as I said at the beginning of the video, if we have an ADX of 50, we are likely to see a reversal, but in this case it's uh, 47 and this is strong uptrend. This is shown in the chart. There is small correction, some correction zone as formed out of which the deal should go up. And the moment will go up on the trend. As you can see, we see exit. I'm satisfied with this moment and our second trade is clouding on the plus. The last second, the uh, left last seconds the candle went down but we don't care a good approach and a good opening time so feeling plus perfect let's continue our trade I see mm, 
strong dynamics. Let's open the cell. We see downward movement. The ADX is in the bar area. This is a strong downtrend. The support area is the low point, so it's the chart time to go from this area. There was a small pullback of which the movement went down. That's why the deal was opened in the downtrend. Uh, now I think at the end there will be a way out and still the deal will go in the plus. A few seconds left. And there's a sad deal in plus. Well, good. Good time. Good deal. No risks. And let's continue our trade. Let's open a sell trade. Same concept. Mm. Already access in the area 44. The pullbacks have already happened. And I think the trend will continue. So let's open a sell trade. Same thing. In theory, the reversal should not be higher than 58x. Only for a six, we see. And our trade in plus one thousand four hundred six hundred dollars. Let's put the maximum amount of the trade here. The trade, uh, so we open the in the direction of the trend, we see uh, in the real with the markup 50. Here also in theory, there might be a reversal of the trend, but let's bet on the fact that it's a pullback. We then train into the interchannel movement. And after that, the movement should go down further in the direction of the trend. So still, I think that everything will go well. There's literally 15 seconds left and we we'll wait. Another positive trade on the balance, $2,000. And let's continue our trade. Let's open two sell trades. Here in the direction of the trend, we see that we have a small pullback occurred and from here the price should go down. So we see a downward trend on the ADX. We see a markup. Uh, 52. In theory, it's getting a little bit lower, but that's good in principle. By the end, I think there should be an exit as should work this area of resistance and deal should close in plus. And we wait. Two trades closed in plus. Good. So let's continue analytics and continue our trend. Let's find a more reliable entry into the trade and let's mm, so we can open 
for sale trades. We often in the direction of the trend in the area of 45 is EDX. Yeah, we see a good correction. The movement went to the inside of the channel and that's good. If it's a pullback, it should end and the movement should go further down. That's why we opened the sell trade so far, the price is standing still. Um, by the end, I think there will be an exit and the trade will go into the plus side. Let's wait. And look, it was a pullback and the move went down in the balance. So we have seven thousand and half dollars and make it uh, less deal but three thousand dollars. So we're not going to risk the balance and trading is dangerous. And let's choose the currency bar and I think we should open here by trades three deals. A good entry, it's an uptrend. ADX is around 30. Strong uptrend, there are two corrections in this area. Mm, yeah, one, two. It touches the middle line of the channel. Renewal of the local minimum. And I think that's why the momentum will go upwards. There was an exit. Yeah. But it's too early to... Yeah, still 10 seconds to the end. Ten thousand dollars per pack. I hope you liked today's trading. EDX helped us today. This values uh, give more confidence when entering a trade. And let's move to the visual. We draw ten thousand dollars. Continue, and our role is process. I attach a screenshot with a successful deal, and I hope you like my videos. Um, thanks for watching. See you later.